So hello everyone and welcome back. In my previous video we were talking about uh, the NOT gate, the AND gate and the OR gate. But in this video we will discuss NAND gate and NOR gate. Now I will, I will do the same thing what I did in my previous video. I will fill out these true tables for NAND and NOR gate according to their simulations. So let's start by locating our gates. So here we have an end gate and let's switch our inputs to two inputs. I will connect our input uh, sorry. I will connect our input signals and I will connect our output signal. Okay, this will be input A input B and this will be of Q and uh, now I will fill out these two input columns the same way as I did in my previous video in the first column I have to write 0, uh, zero 1 ah, sorry 0 1 and in the second column we have to write 0 0 1 1 and as I told before we have to fill out these uh, input columns in this kind of way so that we would uh, look at every every possible input combination that we can have on our uh, on the input of our NAND gate. And uh, as we as we can already see, if both of our input signals are zeros, then the output is one. If input A is zero and input B is one. Uh, sorry, and uh, input B is 1, then output is 1. If input A is 1 and input B is 0, output still is the same, it is 1. But when both of our inputs are 1s, then the output becomes 0. Uh, this is how a true table for an end gate looks like. And the same as uh, previously, also, NAND gate, uh, the operation of NAND gate, we can describe by formula. And this formula will look like this. Output Q is equal to signal A times signal B. And these signals will be inverted. As I told you in my previous, uh, previous video, this line, it means that our signal is inverted and I want to tell you one thing we can uh, we can think about NAND gate the same as, as it would be AND gate if it would be followed by an inverter and I want to show you show you one thing first I have to switch our inputs to two inputs and what I will do now I will connect these input signals that I have for an AND gate. I will connect them to AND gate. Okay, let's connect our inputs and let's connect our output. And now, if I will go through this truth table one more time, you will see that the uh, our outputs for both of these circuits will be the same. So when we have zeros, outputs are one. When we have input uh, input B one, input A zero, outputs are one. When input A, input A is one and input B is zero, outputs are one. And when both inputs are ones, then the output becomes zero. Now. Uh, if you look at this uh, symbol for an AND gate, you can see that it is very similar for uh, it is very similar uh, how AND gate looks like. Only here is this this one little circle, and what what this uh, little circle circle means? It means that uh, the output of an AND gate is inverted, and that's why this uh, uh, this circuit. This uh, NAND gate is the same as uh, AND gate followed by an inverter. The circle is the same 
as uh, this not element. And also, if we look at the formula, the formula for AND gate, as we know from my previous video, it looks like this. Output Q is equal to A times B. And this signal A, A times B, the signal we have here before the uh, before the not element. But after this uh, not element, uh, the formula that, that describes our circuit is the same as it is for NAND gate. Okay, uh, now let's continue with NOR gate. But uh, before I uh, let me let me delete this thing. Okay, now let's locate our NAND gate. Oh, sorry, NOR gate, and we have it here. Okay, I will again switch our inputs to inputs. I will connect our input signals. Okay, first input, second input, and output. And I will label these two inputs input A, input B, and I will label our output Q. Now, the next thing again, we have to fill out the input columns for, for our NAR gate. And here we have to write 0, 1, 0, 1. And here we have to write 0, 0, 1, 1. Uh, and again, as we can already see, if our inputs are zeros, then the output is 1. If input, B, uh, if input A is 0 and input B is 1, output is 0. If input A is 1 uh, and input B is 0, output is 0. And if both of our inputs are 1s, then the output is 0. And again, uh, the same as with NAND gate, we can describe NOR gate uh, by formula. And this formula will look like this. Output Q is equal to A plus B. And again, our output signal will be inverted. So this is how a formal for NOR gate looks like. And uh, the same as before with NAND gate, NOR, uh, we can think about NOR gate actually like it would be OR gate if this gate would be followed by an inverter. And I will do the same thing what I did before. I will connect. I will change our inputs to two inputs. I will connect our input signals for from NOR gate, and I will connect our output. And if we will go through this two table one more time, we will see that again both of these output signals are the same. If both of our inputs are zeros, the output is one. If input A is 0, input B is 1, outputs are 0. If input A is 1 and input B is 0, outputs are zeros. And if both of these inputs are at high level, our outputs are zeros. Okay, and there is one more last thing that I want to show you. Uh, here I have my truth tables from my previous video for AND and for OR gate. And what I want you to do now, I want you to look at those, uh, those output columns. If we compare the output column for AND and NAND gate, then we can see that in those places where we have zeros for, for, for AND gate, we have ones for NAND gate. And when where we have one for end gate, we have zero for NAND gate, and the situation is the same with OR and NOR gate, where here we have zeros, here are ones, and where where we have ones here, here we, here we have zeros, 
and the uh, reason is the same. Uh, if you look at my previous video carefully enough, and if you understand the logics of uh, not element, then you should then you should understand uh, understand why these uh, why these uh, values are, are totally totally opposite. It is because inverter changes our signal to the opposite. If we had a zero in our input, then we will have one in the output. But if we had one in input, then we will have zero in the output. This is the reason. So this is this is all for my second video. I hope that uh, this helped you to understand uh, how an AND and NO gate works. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then share it and uh, share it and uh, like it. And see you in my next video. Thank you.